Hello guys and welcome to the series of web concepts and in today's video we are going to practically see the working of same site cookie attribute and along with that we will look into the same site equals to none with secure attribute. So let's begin. To practically understand the working of same site cookie attributes, I have taken here two websites. The first one is developer.mozilla.org and another one is app.diagrams.net. So I'm going to developer.mozilla.org, inspect, and I'm going to delete all the existing cookies present for this particular domain. And after that, I will create here three cookies with different same site values. So we'll go to the console and then write here document.cookie equals to name equals to Vikram. And also I will set the path here as slash and then I will set up same site as strict. Similarly, I will also set another cookie with the value of lex and I will keep it as age equals to 26. And finally, the last cookie which will have same site value as none and I will keep it like location equals to India. And after that, I will go to the application and the cookie section and we will notice that only two cookies are being shown here. The last cookie that was the location equals to India is not being shown here but the question arises why is it so? The answer is the modern browser has mandated the use of the secure cookie attribute whenever we want to set the same site equals to none. Why is it so? Because the scope of the cookies which have the same site equals to none is huge. When the cookie has been marked with the same site as none the cookie will be eligible to be attached in the request every time whether it's a same side request or it's a redirection or it's a cross site request. The cookies which have same site as none will always be attached in the request. So since the scope of these cookies are huge to provide additional layer of security it is mandatory to give the secure cookie attribute as well so that the cookie will not be attached in the request when the communication is happening via the unencrypted channel for instance if http is being used okay so keep this point in mind that whenever you want to keep the same set as none you also need to give the secure cookie attribute as well so i'm again going to the console and after the same set equals to none i will also give it secure right and now we can see three cookies has been set up with different same site values and before we go even further, let's take a quick recap of what we studied in the previous video. So what we studied, first point that when the same site cookie attribute is set with the strict, then that cookie will be attached only in the same site request. Then if the value is lax, then those cookies will be attached during the same site request. And also when there is a page redirection with get HTTP method. And finally, when the value is none, then the cookie will always be attached in the request whether it's a same site request or whether it's a page redirection with get method or whether it's a cross site request. Now I will go to the elements and anywhere I will click and I will do edit as HTML and we can write here image src will give here some path but before that let me close that tag. And I'm giving the same domain and after that we can write abc.jpg. So if I click anywhere else then one request is being sent to get the abc.jpg that we can see in the network tab. In the network tab you need to click on all and then you see one request was made for abc.jpg. If we click on this one, if we go to the headers then in the cookies section you will see that all the three cookies was attached in the next case let's see when there is a page redirection so i will go to the app.diagrams.net and again i'm going to inspect element i can over on select an element and let me click here on the help and again i will do here edit as html and we will give here a tag which href and I'm going to give that particular domain okay and I will write here click here for redirection slash a just to complete the tag 
and here another element has been created which is saying click here for redirection before i click on that i am going to open my burp suite in intercept and i will keep the intercept as on so that i can see the request when i click on it so let's click on it let's see what is in the burp so this request is being made and if we go to the cookies section you will see that only two cookies has been attached in the request that is age which was marked with the legs and the location which was marked with the none the cookie name is not attached in this request because that was marked with the strict so browser ignored that particular cookie and now let's take the third case scenario when there is a cross site request so i'm going to minimize it and then within this page I will click on edit as html and again i am going to write here image src equals to we can paste the same domain and i will give another image let's say jpq.jpg doesn't matter and i am going to close this particular image tag and again the request will go for jpq which i can see in the network jpq.jpg request and if i scroll down to the cookie section you will see only one cookie has been attached in the request that is location so this proof that when the cookie was marked with a none then that cookie was attached during the same site request during the page redirection request and during the cross site request but when the value of the same site was lax then that cookie was only attached during the same site request and during the page redirection with the get method and when the value was strict then the cookie was attached only during the same site request so if you also want to practice just take any random two website and you can play around between them so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video